Mm-hmm. And then, but the chicken wings. Welcome to a brand new video. So, I just finished cooking my second HelloFresh meal. Let me show you which one it is. Today, this was the meal. It is a stuffed meatball rigatoni bake. And this is the final outcome. As you can see, it doesn't look as good as the picture, but there's the cheese, the pasta, these meatballs are stuffed with cheese in them. And over here, I actually have my little plate. I just did a taste test. Here is the plate. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing, but I just tasted it and honestly, it doesn't taste bad at all. Um, it kind of tastes like spaghetti, <laughs> but the, these meatballs, guys, oh my gosh, look at this. Ugh. Mm. They're so good. Mm. What's so weird? Let me finish chewing. What I was saying was that what's interesting is that the meatballs are so tender, like, I cooked them in the oven, followed the recipe. It's like coated with panko and some seasoning, stuff with cheese in the inside, like I said. But even though they look, even though they look pretty crunchy, as you can see, they're like a little toasted. They are extremely tender on the inside. Like they literally just like melt in your mouth. So honestly, pretty good. And I'm proud of myself for even making it. And look who we have over here right now miss sage she just woke up from a nap she was being very cooperative oh big stretch she was being very cooperative while i was cooking and was napping right there in that chair how you feeling you have a good nap yeah got her little tail guys i don't know if you guys can see it but she's a little confused by the camera but she just woke up she's still stretching you good girl, you good girl. But I'm gonna take her out. She needs to go to the bathroom because she hasn't gone in a while and I wanna make sure she doesn't pee in the house by accident. Since sometimes she doesn't tell us when she has to go pee, she just tells when she has to go poo. Um, for the most part with me though, she's been very good and I just kinda take her out when I feel like it's been a while since she's peed and she hasn't really had accidents. But Recently, she has been peeing inside the house when she gets very excited, which is normal for puppies and it goes away with time. But I'm gonna take her out and then I'll show you guys what we do if we do anything later today. You ready to go outside? Guys, it's been a day. So this is the next day from the last clips you saw. I'm whispering because I wanna show you Sage. Look what she's doing. She literally created a pillow fort. So she's completely surrounded by pillows and sleeping in the middle of them. It's just so funny to me. I just had to share. Guys, let me show you this really cool thing we bought for Sage. So look at her, she already knows how to use it. Show them. That's a button. So she pushes it, then she has to walk around over here to get over here where it releases treats every time she pushes that button. Go do it again. There she goes. It's so funny, she's going so slow now because she's been at it for like five minutes and she started off running. But now she's slow as you can see, it releases one at a time. You could change how many on the inside depending on how big you make the little hole where the treats get dispensed from. We're still using her kibble because She's very much uh, food motivated still and likes it. So we just use that instead of giving her a bunch of treats. But it's very helpful when you're trying to do stuff around the house and she has a lot of energy because it gets her to walk around and then it also entertains her for quite a while. And then it's funny because sometimes since the hole is so small to only release one at a time, there's times when it gets like 
I don't know if it clogged or something, but it doesn't release any and she starts growling at it and gets mad until you go fix it because she'll go back and forth like four times and nothing will come out. But so far it's been good and she's been at it. So I just want to show you guys that it's definitely a nice investment if you're on the lazier side or you're just busy and you can't, you know, be with your dog 24 seven whenever they got a lot of energy. Um, and he keeps her entertained and she learned how to use it pretty quick, like the first time. So yeah. Guys, we're back at it again with the HelloFresh. Show them what we're cooking. Pasta over here, chicken's in the oven. The rest of the ingredients are still. Oh, okay, I'll, sure, I'll turn on the oven light. Mm, mm, mm. It's another pasta because obviously we really like pasta in this house. So two out of three of our meals were pasta. And then next week we're trying, what is it called? Green Chef. So we're going to try something Home else. Chef. Home Chef. See how that is. See if it's better than HelloFresh. We're just going to try them all and then we'll let you know how they come out. But this is what we're cooking right now. And hopefully it turns out good. Looks good. And it should be done in like 20, 30 minutes because we started like five, 10 minutes ago. Mm, mm, mm. I just ate a piece of bacon. This is a pasta. We made the Alfredo sauce, has bacon, that's the spinach, that's the chicken. The chives are over there. I don't want any in mine. If he wants them, he can cut them up and put them in his. You're supposed to put the spinach in here, but he's feeling a little eh about it, so I'm gonna keep it separate. But we're about to serve this up, guys. Guys, this is the product. Mine has some spinach. His does, does not. not. And we're gonna do a taste test. Spicy, we really got a duck, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know, you do, I don't. Well, Here's the pasta. Ready? Yeah, with a little bacon on it? Too? Yeah, and right. I have spinach in mine. It's pretty good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I real. love Alfredo pasta, so I like it. He you know, normally doesn't. I don't like Alfredo pasta, but I like this. Yeah. I don't even like bacon. Mm -hmm. Look at the cooking for saying I don't like bacon. Yeah, he does not, but this is pretty good. Mmm. And look how much we have on our plate. And there's still pasta left. Now the chicken. I need to do a little chicken bite. Well, I'm trying to cut my chicken, but it's a little, a little hard. Mm. How's the chicken good? That's good too. Okay, let me taste it. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Now we're gonna try the chicken with the bacon with the, the chicken. What? We we'll try something, bro. The chicken with the bacon with the chicken. I'm just too lazy to get a knife, guys. That's why I'm cutting my chicken like that. Let's get a scoop of pasta with chicken. Mmm. That was good. Mmm. Would you rate this one? Honestly, this one. I would say it's the best one yet. Really? Yep. What would you rate it? I would rate it like a solid nine. A nine? This is good. This is something I would order. This is really good. This is the best one yet for sure, guys. Yeah, the one I showed you guys that I made, the red sauce one, it was all right. I rate that one like a, I'd rate it like a six. I can't really give it a fair rating because I kind of ate it kind of cold. Mm-hmm. And then, but the chicken we made the first day with the mashed potatoes. Mm. That chicken, I just didn't like the carrots, but that chicken mm -hmm. was the best chicken we've had. Mm -hmm. And the mashed potatoes were good. But overall meal-wise, yeah, I think this one's probably the best one. Just because we like pasta as it is, mm -hmm. too. It is really good. I'm shocked he liked it, honestly, because he does not like Alfredo. Yeah, but, but I don't know why, but really this tastes really good. All right, guys. It's because I made it. We haven't ate all day, so we're going to get to munching. Hey, guys, this outro is coming a few days after the content you saw because like always we forgot to film the outro of this video but we hope that you guys enjoyed us showing you our other two hello fresh meals and we'll be sure to record when our what is it home called chef. home chef yeah, home i'm gonna say chef. green chef again <laughs> when our home chef comes so that we can compare the two and we can see which one's honestly better and tastes better cost wise everything Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. We actually have very fun content coming up for you guys, including a collab. But 
be sure to leave a comment on this video if you've tried HelloFresh before. And if you have, please tell us what good foods or meals you guys got because honestly our last one was probably the best one but i think we got really lucky with a box that had three really good meals i think the second one the meatball one with the um, red sauce was probably the worst one and it wasn't even bad it was just not special but as you can see miss sage hey, is over here chewing away at her toy she loves that toy. She, she loves, loves that toy and she loves that toy down there that's an alien. They're both the I ones that came in her bark box. One. But as you can see, she's really she destroyed loves that. It. What she does is she takes that one, she goes up there and she just chills. Yeah. Literally. Like, like she might, might do it right now. She gets it and now she's gonna hump my leg <laughs> by the looks of it. <laughs> she's gonna get to humping. As you can see, she really likes that toy. But anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. See you next time.